NASA just solved an astronomical puzzle that shocked Elon Musk. Researchers have been perplexed by a glowing blob known as the cocoon since it was discovered in 2012. It appears to be inside one of the massive gamma-ray emanations from the center of our galaxy known as the Fermi Bubbles, and it has baffled astronomers ever since. In recent research published in Nature Astronomy, it has demonstrated that the cocoon is brought on by gamma rays generated by extremely fast-spinning stars known as millisecond pulsars that are situated in the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy, which orbits the Milky Way. Findings shed light on the cocoon's enigma, but they also put doubt on efforts to look for dark matter in whatever gamma ray glow the cocoon may release. What made up of this glowing blob? Well, let's find out while Elon Musk updates us all. Hello everyone and welcome back to Elon Musk Evolution, where we bring you the most recent news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies, space news, and the latest science and technology. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos. And let's get started! According to Musk, for the benefit of life on Earth, gamma rays are blocked by our atmosphere. These light particles have energy that are more than a million times greater than the photons that human eyes can see. Before sensors were lofted into space, astronomers were unaware of the richness of the gamma-ray sky due to the obstruction of our ground-level vision. However, more and more of this richness has been made public, beginning with the coincidental findings made by the Vela satellites, which were launched into space in the 1960s to track the nuclear test ban. The Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, a substantial NASA mission that has been in orbit for more than a decade, is the most cutting-edge gamma ray equipment currently in use. The Milky Way and the larger cosmos have revealed a number of surprises thanks to Fermi's capacity for resolving minute detail and detecting faint sources. In 2010, shortly after Fermi's debut, one of these surprises was discovered. Something in the Milky Way center is blowing what appears to be two enormous gamma-ray producing bubbles. NASA's Fermi Space Telescope's gamma-ray measurements revealed a fascinating structure of the Milky Way, our home galaxy. Two enormous bubbles that appear below and above the galaxy center have been found by astronomers. They are referred to as Fermi bubbles. Full 10% of the sky is covered by these absolutely unexpected Fermi bubbles. A total of 50,000 light years are covered by each bubble, which is around 25,000 light years long. It may be millions of years old and cover more than half of the visible sky, from the constellation Virgo to the constellation Grus. Astronomers' largest unanswered mystery is what might have actually created these Fermi bubbles. What may these Fermi bubbles tell us about the past of our Milky Way galaxy? Returning to the past, let's investigate. The Fermi bubbles are invisible to the naked eye. They are nearly undetectable because the gas inside them is so thin, despite their tremendous temperatures. However, something in them has the ability to produce gamma rays, the light with the maximum energy, which is how the Fermi team discovered them. The supermassive black hole that lurks in the galaxy is a leading candidate as the cause of the bubbles, Musk stated. This monster, which is four million times more massive than the Sun, is hidden in the galactic nucleus where the bubbles come from. Such enormous black holes are typically found in the centers of galaxies. Some of these black holes are actually actively consuming matter. Having been fed, they simultaneously release enormous, outflowing jets that may be seen over the electromagnetic spectrum. Thus, a question that came up after the bubbles were found was, can we locate a smoking gun connecting them to the supermassive black hole in our galaxy? Eventually, shaky proof did start to appear. A trace of a tiny gamma ray jet going back towards the galactic center could be seen inside each bubble. However, as more information and time passed, the image became murkier. One of the bubbles had a jet-like characteristic that was confirmed, but closer inspection made the other bubble's apparent jet appear to vanish. The bubbles appeared oddly uneven because only one had the cocoon, an extended brilliant area, while the other did not. A detailed analysis of the cocoon's nature was recently published in Nature Astronomy. Surprisingly, astronomers discovered this structure has nothing to do with the Fermi bubbles or, in fact, the galaxy's supermassive black hole. Instead, they discovered that the cocoon is actually something altogether different. Gamma rays from the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy, which just so happens to be behind the southern bubble, as seen from Earth, Musk explained. 
The Sagittarius Dwarf is a satellite galaxy that orbits the Milky Way. It is so named because its sky position is in the constellation of Sagittarius. The Milky Way's powerful gravitational field has literally torn apart this galaxy's remnant, which was once a much larger galaxy. In fact, the entire night sky is covered in tails made up of stars that were snipped from the Sagittarius Dwarf. High-energy particles known as cosmic rays clash with the incredibly thin gas between the stars in the Milky Way, where this is the primary source of gamma rays. Do you sense a general high-energy trend here, Musk asked? Astronomers believe that cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles in and of themselves, are what cause the gamma rays to be created within the bubbles. These particles knock around and release the recognizable gamma rays, which are predominantly electrons but may also include some heavier guys. High-energy particles can produce a variety of other things in addition to gamma rays. Sometimes as a result of their interaction with one another and a complex subatomic dance involving matter and energy, cosmic rays can produce neutrinos, a virtually massless particle that only interacts with other particles through the weak nuclear force, which means it hardly ever interacts with normal matter at all. Therefore, something in the Fermi bubbles may be generating these incredibly strange neutrinos. The neutrinos may simply be a coincidence and actually be coming from a different region of the universe hidden behind the bubbles, or it may not be. According to Musk, additionally, though we are not entirely clear how, cosmic rays are apparently responsible for the production of all gamma rays. If we are lucky, there might be a single set of events occurring inside the bubbles that simultaneously generates gamma rays and the precise type of neutrinos that we can detect. That would be a significant improvement in describing the physics of the bubbles themselves and provide us with a wealth of information about their genesis. The gamma rays released by the Sagittarius Dwarf, however, cannot be accounted for by this process. Due to the same gravitational pressure that drew so many of its stars away, it long ago lost its gas. Thus, from where do gamma rays originate? The fascinating possibility that they are a signature of dark matter, an invisible substance whose gravitational effects are all that can be seen, which astronomers believe makes up a large portion of the universe, was one of the many possibilities that astronomers thought about, Musk stated. Unfortunately, the cocoon shape closely resembles the dispersion of the stars that can be seen, ruling out dark matter as the source. The stars in one manner or another were the source of the gamma rays. The Sagittarius dwarf stars, however, are ancient and dormant. In such a population, what kind of source emits gamma rays? A rapidly spinning object known as a millisecond pulsar, which is the remnant of specific stars that are significantly more massive than the Sun and are also closely orbiting another star, is the only explanation, according to astronomers who are confident that this is the only possible explanation. Such binary systems can, under the correct conditions, give birth to a neutron star, which is a rotating entity that rotates hundreds of times per second and is about as heavy as the Sun but only about 20 kilometers across. These neutron stars function as natural particle accelerators by launching extremely high-energy particles into space as a result of their fast spin and potent magnetic fields. Gamma rays are then released from these particles, and astronomers discovered that the mystery cocoon's primary source was a pair of millisecond pulsars in the Sagittarius Dwarf. With that being said, that ends today's episode. We sincerely hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click on the like button and share with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. Thanks for watching.